Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. You'll recognize uh, this is what we finished doing. This is what we finished doing earlier. These approximate areas and that kind of thing. So we are looking at the cost of electrical energy because this is mathematics and resources and electricity is a pretty important resource. Let's have a look. Uh, 14H, question one. Use the sample electricity count on the following page to answer these questions. Now, as we go through this, uh, I'm just gonna point out, there are lots of phrases where you're like, what does that even mean, okay? Um, I've already uh, you know, earmarked some of them in my head so that I can tell you, this is one that's a bit unusual, maybe you don't know what that is, but if I go through them and I don't stop, and you wanna know, then just ask me. This is why we're doing this. We're not doing this so you can answer questions. We're doing this so you can understand how to read your bills, okay? What is the supply period for this bill? Supply period, what do you think that means? When the time in which they supply electricity to you. Now have a look. This is a big bill. There's a lot of information here, okay? So I'm going to give you a bit of a tip. If you scroll sort of down to the bottom, the supply period you should be able to find there. It's close to the bottom. Where is it? Do you see it? Yeah. Have a look. I'll go in a bit further for you. Do you see it now? No. Ooh, find it, find it, find it, find it. So it says power smart home electricity usage summary. Uh, they're not written to be easy to read, but once you get used to it, you'll get the hang of it. The supply period is right there. So if you've got your book there, the first one A, one A, um, the answer is supply period is the 22nd of November in that year to the 22nd of February. That's the supply period. That's when it starts, when it ends. Uh, the next question says, how many days is this? Now you can calculate it, but you don't need to because it says, so. it says right there, 93 days. So tell me how many times a year do you get an electricity bill? Four times a year. These are quarterly, 93 days, about three months. Okay. Uh, but it has an awkward time, 22nd. It, that depends a lot on when you first sign up for electricity. Not everyone signs up on the first day of the month. So this is the 22nd. Okay, 1B. The electricity service availability charge is a charge for having electricity available to your property. Think about that. Even without using electricity, they charge you because stuff like equipment um, and all of the wires and poles, they cost money. Or depending on where you live, sometimes there are no poles, everything is underground, okay? So they charge you for that. So we're looking for the daily charge for service availability. Again, stand back, have a look. Electricity service availability. Do you see it? Do you spot it? So it's underneath this header here, energy used and costs. It's right down here at the bottom. Electricity service availability charge. And you can see, if you read from left to right, for each line item, they give you important information. For example, how much was their service availability? 93 days. What was the rate? Do you see it there? What's the rate? Right there. 27 cents per day. That is the daily charge for service availability. So if there are outages, then you don't get charged for those. Hello. Who are you looking for? Holly. Holly is just here. Anyone else? No. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Outstanding. The next thing says, after what is the daily charge, it says, calculate the total charge for this account. Now, you could go ahead and you could calculate it. How would you calculate it? If that's the charge oh, per day, you could multiply that by the number of days. You could do that, except don't, because yeah. they've already done that for you over there on the right-hand side. Okay, So that's the total charge just for service availability, not for actually using any electricity. Okay. So are you getting a, a sense of how to read this? It's not really complicated, but because it's unfamiliar, that's why I'm guiding you through a little bit. We'll do a few more, just a handful. The usage charge is what you pay for the amount of electricity that you use. use. <laughs> what was the total amount of electricity used by this household for the billing period? Okay, now, this is a bit interesting. Um, I won't go into heaps of the details, but do you see um, the units for the amount of electricity, the total amount of electricity that's been used? Do you see, is there in bold? Total electricity used, where is it? Which number is it? It's, it's this one, right? Do you see that one there? 
Now, it says, the reason I know this is what it is, is because on the left-hand side it says total electricity. And then over here, this is the number. Now, what are those units? When you see a K in front of a unit, what does that usually mean? Kilo. Kilo, Kilo correct. Kilo. So you may like to actually, where you're writing your answers, uh, instead of writing KWH, you might like to write Kilo. Uh, the W stands for? What? 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 <laughs> yeah. What does it stand for? It stands for watts. Okay, now here's the thing. Kilowatts, kilowatts, they are not a measure of electricity that's been used over a period of time. Okay, uh, kilowatts are a, a rate, a bit like a speed. Okay, so if I said to you, hey, uh, how fast, uh, how far have you traveled over a certain period of time? And then you look at your speedometer and it says 60 kilometers per hour. If the question is how far have you traveled, you can't say 60 kilometers per hour because that's a rate. Does that make sense? Yeah. You want a, like a total amount. The total amount would be for the, you know, uh, the mm -hmm. distance might be say 60 kilometers. Okay, you get that because you say, uh, I'm just going to graffiti on this. You'd say, for example, 60 kilometers per hour. And then you m multiply that by how long would you like to travel? One hour. One hour. Sure. That's fine. Okay. So you can see in this case, the hours here and the hours here cancel. So that's why you'd say, oh, of course, the total distance is 60 kilometers. That makes sense. But for kilowatts, there's no per hour in the unit. The actual thing itself, that's a rate. So when you multiply it, say, by one hour, then that's one kilowatt hour. That's, that's what the unit actually means. So I'm actually going to dot the S. KWH is short for kilowatt hours. Uh, you might have a heater and it's rated at such and such number of watts, right? Let's just say it's a five watt heater, which is very, very small, okay? If you use that for a thousand hours, think about this, right? Uh, I need some space. Five watts. And you use it for 1,000 hours over the course of the three months, okay? Well, just look at the units. Uh, five times a thousand, five thousand. What are the units that I got here? Watts, hours. So these are 5,000 watt hours. So if I converted that to a more appropriate unit, uh, that's five kilowatt hours. Does that make sense? It's a weird unit, uh, but it comes from the fact that kilowatts are a rate, just like 60 kilometers per hour is a rate. Okay. So let's come back. The question just said, um, what's the total amount of electricity used? So the answer is 1,861.4 kilowatt hours. What's the average daily usage? Average daily usage. Now, think about this. You could just simply divide. We, we suggested that before, right? You could say, uh, you know, you could take the, the service charge, 74.7 cents. You could multiply it by 93, and that would give you this number down here, 69.47, okay? In the same way, if we had no other information, I could take that total amount of power, and what would I do with it? Being that it was a 93-day period. Divide by, divide by 93. So that would give you the answer. However, you're getting a trend here. Electricity reports, utility reports, are not designed for someone to use with a calculator next to them. They've mostly done the calculations for you. Can you spot them? Right up there at the top. Can you see it there in the corner? Average daily usage. Do you see that? Hey, Mr. Orvin. Oh, please go ahead. So you can see it's kind of handy. They compare last bill, this pill, same period last year. Okay, so there's your number right there. Okay, and sure enough, if you divide 1,861 point whatever by 93, I think you get 20 point some small number. Okay.